The next two experimental cases involve debilitating neurological syndromes. The first case clearly illustrates an undocumented relationship of cellular energetics to the relief of tremor symptoms in an individual diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. The second case describes an unprecedented and rapid reversal of stroke symptoms after seven years bedfast. Although striking, these results are commonplace when using PEMF devices. This presentation illustrates tremor reduction using pulsed energetic therapy. This individual was diagnosed with Parkinson's syndrome four years ago. Therapy consisted of 12 minutes of pulsed energetic therapy. These clips show progressive lessening of tremors over 30 minutes. These results persisted for about 72 hours. Subject reported decreased anxiety and improved mental clarity. As in most conditions, there was no evidence of adverse side effects. We're continuing the evaluation to determine if the results tend to be cumulative, as with other conditions. We've recently observed striking response for stroke recovery, which has caused us to challenge the assumptions about the scope and rate of brain cell death in stroke victims. The experience started with a 72-year-old woman. A stroke seven years prior left her fully paralyzed on the right side and unable to communicate. She'd been in acute and unresolved pain and depression since the stroke incident. The timeline for her recovery process is as follows. Day one. The majority of her pain resolved. Her need for pain medication went away. Day three, rigidity in her right arm relaxed and her therapist was able to pull her arm away from her chest. Mom, stretch your arm, raise your arm. That's a girl. And down. Can you do that again? Stretch your arm. That's good. Day five, haze rings appeared in her eyes indicating toxin mobilization and we created a supplement program to help support her detoxification and neural reactivation. Day seven, her speech pattern shifted to syllables and forms resembling sentences. Day 14, she regained the ability to say her name. Can you tell us what your name is? No, Messina de Rivera. Day 21, she regained the ability to communicate emotional messages to her grandkids. Day 30, she regained sufficient mobility to manipulate her fingers in her right hand and to lift her right leg off the bed. Can you do a little exercise for me with your hand, Mom? Go from your pinky, pointer, middle, ring. Now do it again. Pinky, pointer, middle, ring. Good. Good job. Again, kick. One more time, Mom. Kick your leg. Straighten. Kick, kick, kick. Good job. Her speech patterns continued to improve. She regained the ability to say a few words clearly. On day 37, she started physical therapy, able to get out of bed with help, and move comfortably in a wheelchair. Rapid progress in this case, even after seven bedfast years, suggests that a majority of her functional disabilities resulted from dormant instead of dead nerve cells in the brain.